turn down the one that I'm watching. Time to be a pain in everybody's collective necks. No, I'm just kidding, I won't be a pain, a pain in everybody's necks, but everybody's collective necks, maybe? But not everyone's, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe a few people will see me as a pain in the neck, but you know. It's late enough to stream, right? Yeah, it's 10 10. I'm good with that. Ooh. Okay, this is called Fog Porcupine. I got it on Key Miller. It's really good from what I've heard some people say about it. something real quick uh, okay here we go let's play let's play this let's play that's what it is right actually let's not play yet I have to check twitch I almost said Twitter but that's a different <clears throat> that's a different story okay perfect and let's let's go yeah, as mario would say you know this is definitely not on uh switch get, oh i didn't see there was an options button i was gonna turn down the music because it's so loud in my head sure said in a healthcare environment it contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress illness death and self-doubt among other things please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting family friends or professional for support I wish there were more people here to have heard that. I didn't even know it um, dealt with some of those things. I knew death and stuff, but, you know. I didn't know that much. Oh, yeah, that should be fun. Wait, is that my character? Wait, why is it dark? Oh, my gla my glasses are the only thing that I can use to see this, apparently. No, shit. Oh, God. I did just wake up not that long ago, so. Wait. Before I keep streaming, I have an alarm that I set for 10.30, I think. Yep, 10.30. So I need to turn that off so I don't get scared by it again. Here we go. Here's the colorfulness. Was that his house or something? Hey Finley, you're finally awake. Why is there a talking plant? Oh, it's square, not X. With a long face. Oh, nothing. I, I just wasn't expecting you to run into my house plant. Who did you expect? Your washer, maybe? By the way, we gotta talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. <laughs> no. I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea. But it was important. Whatever it was. And I think I've lost it. Is it your mind? <laughs> we all go crazy here. Hold on, I wanted to tell a friend I'm streaming because they like seeing my streams. You can't spell you are right. Okay, sorry. 
Well, if you don't remember, it couldn't have been that important. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course, come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. Bask in the lush grass, soak up the sun, and groove to the soothing tunes, dude. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry. That is some good music. There we go. Better? Yes, I like this. Kula Mundo. Just let your leaves dangle. Just let your worries take a hike, man. Yeah, yeah, I should do that. I just need to relax a little. Great! That's what I want to hear. Lost things just turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home, my man. I might. I'm going to have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I want to pick my f spot carefully. <laughs> the choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Finno. My name's not Finno, but okay. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh. Really? This is oh, wait, no. I know what to do here. I think. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Oh, no, it's telling me right there. Well, hello there, hombre. We meet again. What's it relaxing? And did you find the person you were looking for? It's, it's going quite well. It's really nice here. I haven't... Uh, I mean, sorry, wrong voice. I haven't been outside like this in a long time. It's easy to forget how much good it does you. Word. Once I find my spot, I might just stay. That sounds great. So what are you going to do now? I don't know yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him. That's Hugo. He went to university together. I mean, we went, you know. He's he's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since I had aphids. Fair enough. You want to give it a try? Sure. Why not? But I don't think I can get past that giant flower. Hold on. We'll have that sorted in no time. Hey, baby. Come in the, come into the ground with me, baby. See? No problemo. No problemo. The whole ground was shaking. Hugo's quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break any of his leaves off. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know. You went to college with this guy? What's... What's... Wait, what? Oh, it's... Oh, I see. It. It's not... Uh, it's not using... Okay, I get it. It's not saying... Okay. I was like, why is it showing A? I don't have A on my controller. And then I read, oh, X is jump on a PS4 controller. But square is X on a PS4. You know what I mean, I hope. I can glide. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Hello, Finstar. It's not my name. Up here! Oh, how did you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into that water? For real? I thought we were gonna chill, man. Besides, that looks mighty deep. I think so, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, Chief. Whatever boats your float, Chief, if you know what I'm saying. I'm more a partial shade kind of fella. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Right. Jump down. That was what I was supposed to do, right? Okay, it was. Good. Dun, dun, dun. There you are. I mean, there you are. Okay. Oh wait, X. You you know me? I I never p pass up on a, a good time. Oh wait, are you freezing? I'm g going to c c catch a c c cold. Then you'll need to to take care of me. Go shopping for m m me. D 
do my taxes. The water's lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. N no. I don't uh, l l wa like water. So you want me to stop watering you then? Th that's different. You w w wouldn't get it. It's a f flower thing. Actually, m maybe we c could get out of here. All right, all right. Okay, bye. This is definitely a dream, right? Isn't that the statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it. No response. How rude. Really? Really? Okay. That's stupid. I'm not stupid, but, you know, like, you're talking to a statue, but it's, it's kind of funny. It's lighthearted in a way. The Finmeister, there you are! What took you so long, bud? You're looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you're down at the beach, bro? That moment when the excess water disappears and you feel at first tickles of photosynthesis kick in? There's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. I forget everything around me. Who are you again? Finley, you live at my place. Pina gave you to me. You're her, from her flower store. Finley, Finley, Dingley, Dongley. All the same to me right now. Oh, yeah. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. You sure do have some strange thoughts, mister. So have you found what you're looking for yet? No. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something, me neither. I'm looking for someone. Well, congrats, you found someone. Your very best flower buddy. Now kick back, grab a cold one, and sink into the sandy embrace, dude. We haven't had a vacation in forever. I, uh... I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. Alrighty, but don't get sunburned. I ain't no aloe vera if you're catching my drift. Sorry, I had to stop for a second because my throat hurts. Kind of, kind of hurts. Wait, how do I do this? Why can't I go down there? Oh, there we go. Okay, interesting. This doesn't look very much like- It's a bouncy castle or something, I think. Did I do this wrong? I think I did. Shit. Okay, so I'm guessing I go up here, right? Oh, I was right. Whoa, the clouds, amazing. Who are you? Ingrid, nice to see you here. Ingrid, really? Do you happen to know where, where Mr. Arndes is? Mr. Arndes, I was looking for Mr. Arndes. He's a patient of ours and he disappeared. I was taking the elevator and something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndes, otherwise something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid, you know how much I enjoy our conversations. But I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Arndes. We'll catch up again soon, I promise. That didn't look like an Ingrid. I mean, it did, but like... There's no going any further here. Why does it smell like blueberry pudding in here? Well, I found that. Okay. Pretty good game so far. Oh shit, Edwin, I'm so sorry. Edwin, I wasn't paying attention. I forgot I was streaming for a second. How are you today, Edwin? If you're still there, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for missing your uh, your message. How long ago was that? Because I just I just saw it and was like, oh no. Mr. Arndes has to be here somewhere. There was a lot of reading and shit, so yeah. Hello, Mr. Arndes, can you hear me? My eyes glow in the dark. Okay, 
I wanted to make sure that it was all good and you understood, which you clearly do understand. There was a lot of reading though, so that's that's why I wasn't looking at chat. And also, if chat was over here, to me, like over here and not over there, like up on my screen, I probably would have noticed something was awry. Oh shit, I forgot how to do that, yeah. Oh. No, just sitting here playing. I used to play Destiny 2, but then I got bored of it. And then I started playing it again recently, forgot how to play. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I played a bit of it, actually, now that I think of it. Hello, is someone there? Oh, yeah, X. Which would be square on the controller. That I have. There are boxes full of documents and folders on the older hospital bed. It's a strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on the interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Ugh. There's someone back there. Mr. Oranges, is that you? Oh, yes. By the way, if you have um, depressive thoughts or anything, a lot of the time, uh, this game does hit hard. It gives you... Uh, it does tell you that it does hit hard from the beginning of the game. It says, like, if you ever need to take a break... Call your parents, call a friend, or a professional to talk to if it hits too hard. So if it does hit too hard, I understand if you want to leave or have to leave. That's blood. It's still fresh. You know what I mean? Like, see blood. It, it looks cutesy and stuff, but it's actually a very serious doctor game. Oh, Mr. Arnes, you're bleeding. Don't move. Uh, what, who, who are you? Stay calm, I'm gonna help you. Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? I got hit on the head by a box. So yeah, I, I just want to put that out there for people because I don't know, I don't have like a setup in such a way where people will be able to see the game correctly, my face and everything else that goes on. Which I should try to figure out a setup like that. Oh, it's his alarm! Hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have to... Hold on. I want to... No, nope, that's a lot of texts. Hi, fin Hi, Finley. Dr. Krakowski asked me to send you my number. What Hello, Mia. Thanks. Here's my number, too. Looking forward to working with you. Me, too. See you tomorrow. Get well soon, Finley. I just heard what happened. Should I be worried how bad's the injury? Thanks. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'll just rest up for a few days, then I'll be back at work. Hope you've not got too much work covering for me. Don't worry about that right now. Just be careful in the future, okay? There's a lot going on our ward right now. Anyway, you just get yourself healthy again. Consider it done. Good morning. Hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat. Okay, cool. Notes. Mia. Oh, the notes on Google there. Oh, shit. Man, another one of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleep. No, sleeping is the best. That's how I escape from reality, of course. Oof. Escape to reality. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Oh, he, so he did get a head, head injury like that. There you are, standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You've given me quite the restless night. Oh yeah, if you didn't notice that, uh, in this dream, the flower was talking to him. It's all right for you, you don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there'll be trouble. There would be trouble. There would to be total trouble. I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kicked my butt in the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Fat chance. I haven't touched the thing since I moved on. Or moved in. Oh, he really quickly changed. That's what that rumble was in that sound. I got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. 
a bus timetable, a sightseeing guide, and a trial subscription to the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day. Then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's. Oh, I see where I was supposed to go. So, Edwin, I'll, um, I've never played the game before. I watched some of somebody play it, though, at one point. But not enough to understand what the game is or... Like, other than that you're a doctor. The bike's been there ever since I moved in, so either someone moved and forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still there come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Oh, that would be a good idea to do now, why not? Maybe it's one of those prank bikes. Morning, Finley, running late. Hey, Susie. Oh, it was a girl. Is that why eyelashes or something? I don't know. Hey, Susie, yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Most nights I don't dream at all. But sometimes I dream that I'm running just on the spot for no reason. That definitely comes from work. I heard Louis Colbert having trouble sleeping too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining unless for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already. Just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You already have an odd routine. You really have an odd routine. Well, that the post won't post itself. True, but I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. Oh, wait. Hold on. I got notes. I got notes for Susie. The only mail carrier for Porcupine... So I thought full porcupine meant like a porcupine was gonna die. No, porcupine is where they live. Got it. So yeah, I got this on Keymailer, so I got this free, and I'm like, yes, there's a note here. Unfortunately, the citizen's bus is out of service until further notice. We ask for your understanding look on the bright side. With fuel prices the way they are, walking is the better option anyway. We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. Suits me just fine. Why did I buy monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? So yeah, I got this game on Keymailer because I saw it and was like, oh, it reminds me of, um, whatchamacallit. I did see somebody play it, but I was like, oh, I've been wanting this game from Keymailer. You know, I've been asking for a key or whatever. Well, no, I requested a key. They never got back to me. And then eventually they did. So I think it's because I've been getting more viewers every day. So... That's pretty good in my book. Why don't people use my lurk command? I bet you're lurking, aren't you? From here, I can get to Old Town and the High Street. It's a weird. It's weird what passes for a high street in a small town. All I know is that peanut store is there, but I should check out the street when I'm free sometime. The old town lives up to its name, at least. Small, crooked, old houses. The town hall, the town fountain. And Gilbert's, of course, the best and only pub in Porcupine. Best of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula's Hot. Oh, they both lead? That's pretty cool, actually. I like the little fall porcupine. Oh, I can't talk to just random people. Okay, that's fine. That makes sense. Okay, pretty good game so far. I can't wait to see the stuff that's um hard hitting. Other than that one part, you know, I'm I'm not usually emotional about games because I don't get fully into them. But if they're like Life is Strange, Life is Strange had me. That one had tugged at my heartstrings and everything. The first one, I've never played two or any of the other ones that I want to get eventually. But man, is it a good game, Life is Strange, and it's just like, wow. Goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by wrong bowler? <laughs> good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually, I started at St. Orsa's Hospital a few weeks ago. So you're a doctor? Help me with my hip. Yes, well, almost a junior doctor. 
That's marvelous. People like you are just what porcupine needs. My name is Ale von Witterstein. I'm Porcupine's oldest citizen. I've seen many people come and go. But somewhere in a hurry, some have stayed to this day. You, I'm guessing you're the hurrying type. Am I right, Doctor? Yes, but only because I need to get to work. Well, one should never throw a rock into the rushing rapids. But when you have a moment sometime, I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have any questions. Hello, Z. I'm doing good today. How are you? Oh, also, because you, nobody saw the beginning, I have to do a disclaimer about this game. It does get very hard hitting, so if you need to leave at any moment during this stream, that is A-OK. -okay. You can tell me, and you can tell me for- If you tell me first, then I'll under- I know I'll understand, because I understand how people's emotions are when it comes to games like this. It gives you a warning saying that, um, if- you ever get tired of the game like you get very like ugh, you know like your heart gets heavy and stuff you know what I mean I might take you up on that thanks for the offer I see it as my calling but for now full steam ahead there are younger folks than me to keep alive here that's good to hear though uh, Z that's Gilbert's this is a pretty good place to go not that uh, okay Good morning, Giuliano. Long time no see, Finley. Yeah, I was laid up in bed for a while. Thought as much, the bandaid gives you away. Sorry, I don't know. Everything are good with you. I'll be alright, yeah. I'm sure you will. You want to cool that lump on your head with a nice and cool to drink. Just come by anytime, okay? Thanks, Giuliano. I might just take you up on that. Was that racist? Because I, I feel like it was. That's the big town fountain. It's a statue of Nino Ninoslav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? It seems to be broken. What the fuck? What the fuck kind of animal is that? I can't tell. I can't see its mouth, so it's very weird. Wait, there's another guy right here. Oh, is that another? Oh, no, it's a hamster. Never mind. I saw its little nose. It's so cute, though, isn't it, Z? If you're still there, I don't know. I think people are going to leave once they hear that it can get very depressing. So, like, it's one of those things where I'm like... I forgot I modded you, so who knows if you'll leave. I don't know. It, you're, you are a mod of mine. But if it gets too heavy hitting, like I said, you feel free to leave and I'll take care of everything. This rusty old truck was in here last time I came to work. It's locked too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure, perhaps? Oh, it won't? Just tell me if it does bother you and just give me a warning just in case that you're having a hard time. And if you need to go... You can lurk even if you want and just like put the stream on the side without any sound or anything. A dead body? Maybe even 10 dead bodies. Is there a super secret alien technology inside you? Are you the truth of all things? Sorry if I read too fast. Do I need to enunciate better when I read? Because I know when I'm reading things I, or say certain words, they don't come out right. The answer to the great questions of the universe. In Diablo, you and me both. No, I'm just kidding. In Diablo, which Diablo 4, right? Because a lot of people are playing Diablo 4 that I follow. Come on, reveal your secrets. Uh, the Rise of a Lion tunes uh, and Poetic, who is now known as the Lost Poe. You know. Lots of people playing it that I know. Of course you are. I... What game was I addicted to at one point? I was addicted to a game at one point. Oh, you know what it was? I think I think the most recent game I was addicted to was um Return to Monkey Island, the most recent Monkey Island game. There's a plaque on the tree. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. Miroslav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. 
He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He founded the town and built himself a house. Oh wow, that's, yeah, it's, what was the, f I don't think I've ever been so into a game that I would play it like every day though, which is kind of weird in my opinion, I, because I love video games and everything. No, recently it was, I think I know, uh, oh wait. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I I think the last game I got in, I don't know. No, because I use there are games that I replay and replay not only for like achievements but also for like different customization like uh I beat on PS4 I beat Spider-Man all the way through 100% got all the achievements and everything. Miles Morales, I only need one more achievement, but that one's going to be very difficult to get. I got them both on the computer, and I'm trying to 100% Sp uh, Marvel Spider-Man again. The remastered one. And Miles Morales again. 100% one of them first. So, yeah. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. 40 days later, he found them on this very spot. Oh, cool. Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. Bad like that. I play a game to death and move on. I play different games. Like, if you haven't noticed, my streams are very sporadic. So, like, not just the schedule, but also what games I play. That's why I'm trying to play, like, two games at a time. So, like, um... So, on the 5th and 7th of this month, it's gonna be LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Because I still need to finish that. Which I'll probably get it finished by the 7th. Uh, on the 9th is Dead Space and also the 11th is Dead Space. Because I keep getting like these fucking meetings and stuff. So I've had to move around a lot of things at times. You know what I mean? No, you know what? I've done that before. I've act what was it? I actually got Miles Morales one Christmas for my PS4, and I played it the whole day. And uh, yeah, I beat it that day. Not like a hundred percent, of course, but like I beat the story, the main story. Saint Ursula's Hospital is this way. Okay, that's good now. I don't know. There are some games that I can play for hours, and then some that I can play for like a few hours, and then I get bored of because it's repetitive in a way. Actually, now that I fucking think of it, uh, the last game I kept playing and playing to get all the achievements was, um, Return to Monkey Island, which I still don't think I got all the achievements for. Yeah, I only need one achievement and that's beat the game in two hours. I tried to do that once, was off by eight minutes on stream and I'm not playing it again on stream. Good morning, Mr. Bus Stop. I'd love to have been hopping off here some time ago. Coffee in hand, nice and relaxed. Well, maybe tomorrow. You can't slack off every day, Mr. Bus Stop. <laughs> nice. What's this? St. Ursula Hospital. St. Ursula's Hospital. You squeal, we heal. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. It's an adorable game. It reminds me of Wander Song, kind of. But only, like, Wander Song is less emotional, I think. Even though... Wander Song can get very emotional. This statue's out here every day. From dawn to dusk, come rain or shine, it's never complained. How do you do it? Regular sleep, probably. Balanced meals, exercise three times a week. Well, a guy can dream. So cute. I I'll be surprised how dark it gets, actually, I think. It'll probably get very dark because I mean it's a it's a game where you're a doctor, so it makes sense. The hospital isn't huge. Still, you can get lost here from time to time. It's not a problem until you accidentally end up on the operating table. That's why you should always pay attention to the signs, kids. Nice. I've seen Diablo gameplay before. I'm not really a fan of Diablo. 
Maybe if I played it, I would be, but it's not my cup of tea. The good old vending machine. A handy source of breakfast, or an end of shift reward. Of course, it's been broken ever since I started here, but hey, it's important to have constants in life. Still, I wouldn't say no to a chalk dog right now. Every morning, they gleam through the glass laughing at me. Just like they've been doing since before I was even born. It still will be long after I'm gone. They'll outlive us all. Thousands of years from now, alien beings will dig up this vending machine. What is this machine's purpose? What primitive civilization created it? That's what they'll ask themselves. Perhaps with the advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get at the tasty treats. You've got a long way to go, vending machine. Hello, Ingrid. I'm guessing. Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. Yes, my injury is healing up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? Alright, go on. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times and it all makes sense. So what do you think? Wazowski did it. You're always watching. I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? That's what I imagine her voice to be, but eventually, if she keeps talking, my voice will go. Well, we have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define this... Holy shit. To define the social and the anthropological... Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to try that. Uh, anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm not doing that voice anymore. What? The term is... Klutz. Just kidding, kiddo. <laughs> How's Mr. Andes? The old duffer still alive, making himself cozy in his bed on your ward again. Whew. Okay, I'm really glad to hear that. You've only been here a short while, but because of that night, people know you now. You're the boy who lived. Very funny. Ha, the boy who lived. <laughs> Get it? The boy who lived. Hi, champion1997. I'm going to hurt myself all I want. Well, no, hold on, hold on. How are you today, champion1997? I'll just call you champ or champion, whatever you want me to call you. And uh, I may hurt myself doing this voice, but, like, it's... It, it, she looks like Roz. She looks like a hippopotamus Roz from uh, fucking Monsters, Inc. Champ works? Okay. If I, is it okay that I call you champion from time to time? Because I may forget to call you champ. If you decide to follow and stuff, you know. But seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, men are being prepared. Anyway, my coffee's getting cold and you need to swing your butt on over to your ward. On the third floor, in case the tendon you're not going to cause more damage than we thought. I know where my ward is. That's good, hop to it, then before Dr. Krakowski rips your head off. You're right, I'll get going. You know, that wasn't too bad, that wasn't as bad as I thought. There was one time I did that voice and it was too much for me. Okay, that that's good to know, champ. Where am I going, why am I going all the way this way? Is there anything over here that I can do? No, I don't want to go out of the hospital yet. Hey, hi, thanks for the follow. Oh, thanks for the follow, champ. Fuck, I need to go back inside. I didn't mean to go back. I didn't mean to go outside. Thanks for the follow, man. Did I ask you? Oh, yeah, you said you're good. I'm good, too, actually. Uh, how did you find me? Did you find me from, um, recommended or maybe, um, Recommended or maybe you saw me self-promote myself, you know, in somebody's Discord. I don't know. Am I on the right floor? I think I am. Yep. I don't want to talk to all these people. Are you nuts? Which floor? Oh, hold on. I need to talk to that person. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Ah, oh, Finley, half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what I like to see. I'm early. Really? Of course not, you're horrifically late again. Let me guess, the bus didn't come? Yes, I'm sorry, I. 
The bus is unreliable. It cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you. Got it? Yes, got it. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. One of my tags. Which one? You can you can say which tag you found me under, by the way. Unless you're not comfortable with that. Yep, that's what I thought. Yeah, I swear quite a lot, by the way. So if you don't like swearing, you can feel free to unfollow and all that stuff. Uh, I may be ABDL, but I am very much a normal person. You know what I mean? No, not... That sounded, that sounded so dumb. That sounded ridiculously stupid of me to say. But I, I'm like any other person. If I swear, I swear, you know. I swear quite a bit. If it's not too much trouble, we'll start our rounds in room 301. You know what I mean? I don't know why I said I'm like any other normal person, you know. There's no such thing as normal in my opinion. And there shouldn't be anything known as normal, you know. So, Miss Martin, good morning. You're very late today. Tell me about it. Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. Yes, exactly. See, champ, I... I you understand that. You understand that. I understand. I understand that you understand it, you know. I was in so much pain I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas, Mia? Me? Well, come on, spit it out. There are, all of this is going to mash together because I'm done doing voices for some characters because I can't do voices all that well. I can do like, hey, Tony Radical, bro, or uh, Wazowski, you know, that's about it. And, uh, yes. Ulcer? A stomach ulcer? Is that a question or your answer? My answer? Bingo! The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin, we'll probably keep you here one more night. What? Oh, I was like so confused when I saw Chewbacca like Lilo and Stitch Stitch. Yeah, and Chewbacca is really hard to do. I'm surprised you can do that. I like how you spell that like Baka like stupid in, in uh, anime. It's actually two C's and not a K, but that's just my pet peeve. Uh, that's my red flag for everything. Like if you spell something wrong or say something wrong, I will correct you and it bothers me that I do it. But it bothers other people more. You used to be vo oh, that's pretty cool. We'll check your readings again later. Just try to relax. What did you What did you voice act for? Was it like um? And I'm just like sick, so some typos aren't my fault. You know what? I'll I'll try to remember that because um I understand dyslexia is very hard. I have dyslexia for certain things. I think. Because I know I have had trouble writing things down. It could be the IE thing, but that's nor that's like pretty typical for people. It's the I before E thing or whatever. So yeah, I I won't if if I do get annoying with it, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, what were you a voice actor for? Like was it like a small time like part time thing or whatever? Because that, that's kind of cool. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medications later. Let's continue room 303. Chop, chop. Look sharp. Sharp. Not shop. Wait, it said 303, right? Wait, which room did it say? Fuck, I forgot which room it said. No, it did say this one. Wait. Oh, I was wondering why I can go. Oh, cool. What YouTuber? Actually, I'm a YouTuber, so that would, you can you can if I ask you what YouTuber or Twitch streamer you, you helped or whatever, Afmao, Afmao, oh man, I haven't heard that name in a while. Holy shit! You know how long that's been since I've heard of Afmao. Remember uh, Sky does Minecraft? That's how long it's been. Some of her younger voices. 
Af that's been a long time. Is she still doing YouTube? It's been a while. Now I gotta check out an F now. She still does. Oh, cool! I remember Ms. Zen Max. Man. Man, those are so weird. It's so weird. I'm still subscribed even though I haven't watched her in so long. Like, holy shit. Man, that takes me back. I was an IT person for Sky at the time and I met her and did a funny voice daily. Ha! Huh, nice! That's pretty cool. Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay, Doug Torsky. It's good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? If I go back and forth, that's just what I am. If I ever, like now I was reading what he was saying, I'm going in, in to talk to chat at the moment. It's um very, very difficult. Uh, ADHD, autism, all that stuff, you know. I have autism and ADHD. I have depression. I have all this different stuff, you know. But if you ever... While I'm playing this game, need to take a break from watching me for ever re for whatever reason because this gets very heart heartfelt topics like very very emotional and stuff. So if you ever need to take a break from watching me, just just tell me and I'll understand and I'll see you again later if you ever need to take a break for this game. Yeah, ADHD sucks. Well, in my opinion, mixed with autism, ADHD kind of sucks for me. I, I I don't know what else I have. I probably have some other things, but I'm not sure. Like last night. That's right. Careful. I didn't hear him cough. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yes, I can do that, Dr. K. It's even worse when you have a photographic memory and a short attention. <laughs> exactly. I have I have semi photographic uh, memory. With my autism, I can imagine things like I can see something somewhere, but it turns out it's not in that place. It's in a different place. I was imagining it in a s another place that I had it in the past, because it's like one of those things. Like it's not like photographic photographic, but it's like I can imagine something just by you describing it like uh, one time I had somebody in my stream where I was saying like uh, describe uh, give me a Pokemon to guess right and what they do is they'd be vague or whatever as vague as possible and they would give me like the first hint and then I'll try to think of the Pokemon sometimes I can't think of the Pokemon because I get stuck on one Pokemon also I hope you can understand what I'm saying at the moment because right now I am talking at 10 words per minute right now so yeah I I did that a few times while I was playing Power Wash Simulator also I'm a variety streamer so I play a lot of different games well, I was down at school with the others we were at the back of the skate park I can't skate that well I just got the board for my birthday but I definitely want to learn my board is super cool it was green it has green wheels and the grip tape is all black and brand new I've heard other skaters scratch their board up on purpose to make it look cooler. I don't get that. The board has a big picture of a robot on the bottom. It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. Very good. But what were you all doing at school? Down at school? Ah, well, um, it was like this. My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. He said, if you want to be a good skater, you've got to smoke too. It's all part of the deal, he said. I have one point where to wrap God's feet over. Oh, I see what you were saying. I was <laughs> I totally forgot that rap god was really fast. But um yeah, I understand that. I like and then there are times where people are like, wait, slow down, what more than a catching say? underscore fire underscore three, I'll mostly be lurking cause I'm going to be rearranging stuff in my room. Okay, someone thanks for coming in. I hope you're having a good day. So you're mostly rearranging stuff in your room? That's good to hear. Good morning. Yeah, so I've done that before where I'm like, da 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 da, ba 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 dang dang, you know? 
Yeah, I've I've done something similar, but not quite that fast. I really don't want to, but I want to be a chicken, you know. I don't want to be. I was still out of breath from practicing. He lit the cigarette, and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Anyways, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed, but couldn't get any air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. So yeah, that's it, really. Thank you, Larissa. You explained it all very well. Well then, care to share your opinions, my valued colleagues? What do you think, Finley? Hmm. I know Dr. Krikowski already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. Oh, okay, sorry, Dr. Torski. <laughs> asthma, it could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant, Larissa, you probably wouldn't have thought of it. <laughs> Good, Larissa, keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Dr. Krakowski. Okay, the last stop for today is room P33. Oh, and Finley? You already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Arndes. Assume the name rings a bell? Mr. Arndes, yes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. Mr. Arndes is an old-timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't in the best of shape anymore. Oh, yeah, if anybody... Like it said, I keep saying this, but... This has hard-hitting topics that could make you feel down and depressed. If you ever need to take a break or or anything, just tell me and then and then like I'll understand and then you can go do whatever you need to do. Because I I I have a personality type that is I have this personality type that I fully believe in because I've noticed a lot of things with it. I've been told I'm very empathetic, right? So I'm like, if you ever feel like really bad, just like tell me and I'll understand and you can go. You know what I mean? So act accordingly. I always say people call me empathetic when really I I feel like I, I, I have been called empathetic before. Where am I going? P33, right? Right? Yeah, P33. Yeah. Yeah, I have a personality type that I was like... I, I was doing this for pre-employment, right? She said, okay, let's do a personality test for you so we can try to figure out what kind of job would work for you. And I did 16personalities.com. And I was like, as she was reading through it and going over what everything meant, I, was, I, I saw it into my past. And I was like, oh my God, this describes me to a T. What? This is on point, you know? I was like so confused. Everything will be just fine, Mr. Arndes. This matter is very important to me, and I'll ensure it is resolved quickly. You can rest assured of that. Ah, uh, Dr. Krakowski, nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Heidrich, or Heidrich. Uh, do what, uh, to what do we owe the honor? Why, Mr. Arndes, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. Also, I know that I don't have the Pokemon Community game uh, widget anymore, or extension anymore on, on the channel. That's because I really wanted to use Blurp along with Sound Alerts, because I have a few Sound Alerts that I like, and then the Blurps are like, you can put more. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. Also, don't feel bad for scaring me at all. On, on my sound alerts, I have a screamer for free because I'm not affiliate yet. But if you're on mobile, there's this square right below the stream on the... Like, if you're watching me like this. If you're watching me like this, right? Hold on, let me see if I can get it there. You're watching me like that. There should be a square right in the bottom right corner. The bottom, yeah, bottom right corner of the screen. Like, right where it would, you know, it, 
You should be able to find things there. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective, but I was also very worried about our patient, of course. But let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet, ready to throw yourself back into the fray. Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you, Mr. Hydrick. It's great to have you back, truly. I admire your, your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody at Sir St. Ursula's does. St. Ursula's itself is responsible for this accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I've arranged for Mr. Arndes, or Ande, I don't know, to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we've se secured, oh my god, I missed the E, I must have secured. We've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after there around the clock. The rest will also help with his age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. Krakowski. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Will you do me a favor and, and assess Mr. Arndt's condition later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience and let me know, then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, then, I won't keep you any longer. There is a lot of reading. I am so sorry. I have nothing else to say because it's like I just want to read it. All of our time is precious. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Also, if I don't talk enough to chat, it's because there's not much that I can say because I'm still, like, very small and not able to, like, think of things to say. So if anybody says anything in chat, I will try to get to your message as soon as possible. Just to let you know. Yes, anyway. Good morning, Mr. Arndes. You know my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Such a little one. Well, I mean, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You fucker. That's not what I mean. If you're talking about the ABDL stuff, I swear to God. That that was pretty good, though. That, that was pretty good, if that's what you're talking about. Well, isn't she the lucky one? Oh, my God. You are so... You are, you're good. You're, that was funny. That was funny. I, I'll admit that was pretty funny. How are you feeling today? God damn it. I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Arndes. Oh. Well, I hope that you know how to use sound alerts because that would be great to scare me with and stuff. Well, what are you doing here then? I also play horror games, so I play any game that I get my hands on. I've played Dead Space. I'm still playing Dead Space 1. I played Dead Space 2 first because that's what I got before I got Dead Space 1, 2, and 3 at the same time. So I have like, uh, I have a lot of things that you can do. You can <laughs> see, see, someone knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I got a Discord. Right here. This is my Discord. If you want to join it, that's okay. Not a lot of people talk in it. Yeah, and it usually scares me a lot, but it hasn't been scaring me a lot recently. Probably because I'm not playing a horror game. You know, usually it scares me more when I'm playing a horror game. But yeah, that's my Discord link right there. If you if you want to join my Discord, that's good. Um, you should get a message from yagpdb.xyz to with a captcha, right? I thought or I could verify you myself because I know you're in my chat, you know. See, you got the message just now, I think. Hold on. Yep, you found it. Okay, glad to see you aboard. Not a lot of people chat, but I will wave. I will wave. You know, not a lot of people like chat in, in here, but if you ever want to find out about a new stream or a new video, I have some self rolls on there, right? So I used to have a notification just for certain people who have the role of one of my new streams, you know. But now I do it for everyone because it's like one of those things like I want... To get as many people as possible and not just people that want to, you know. But the new video one. I do YouTube, of course. The last game I played was Nicolas Cage Dating Simulator. 
And then I have I do art sometimes. I do TikToks. And I have a whole section of cool people that stream, like friends that stream, you know? I've never played Phasmophobia, actually. But I've heard it's a good game. I don't think it would be a game that I'd play by myself, though. I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? Straight after this. Okay, then go ahead. Finley? Hmm? Yes? Mr. Arndis suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Finley, would you be so kind as to change Mr. Arndis' dressings? It's, um, it's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings right now? You can ask Mr. Arndis if he wants to do it himself if you prefer. He can't be any worse at it than you. Alright, I'm doing it. Good morning, Mr. Arndis. I'm very pleased to see you. Hmm? Do I know you? Yes, maybe? There was an accident, do you remember? I want lasagna today. Put hold the salad. I can't stand all those leaves. Mr. Arndis? Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Arndis. Now let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Okay. Treatment. Your patient is in your hand. Press and hold down buttons. Just make sure you press the buttons shown on the screen. Be as quick as possible, but... Okay. Fuck, this is gonna be difficult for me. Okay, there we go, I did it. Look at that! The dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. Also, those buttons are for an Xbox controller. So I had to remember which buttons are which because I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller because I had a Logitech gamepad, like what they used on the Titan. Oh, <laughs> you know. But, like, it, it broke, basically, so I tried to fix it, and I couldn't put it back together, so I just threw it away. I'll be back to you later to check your readings, but there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. That'd be nice, Miss Krakowski. Doctor? Doctor. No, no, I'm not a doctor, just an absent-minded old fool. Oh, dear. Okay, we're done, Mia Finley. Come with me, and I'll give you your task for today's shift. Hey champ, what's your uh, favorite game? What's your favorite game that y you could play all the time? Like, it doesn't have to be just horror. Because I, there's this one game that I would play a lot at one point. It was um, Return to Monkey Island. There you are, back to full health. I trust. Yes, all good. I'm glad to be at work again. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's tasks in your app. The walls are coming, but they still find money for digitalization. I still don't believe in these electronic patient folders, but Hydreich and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. We've done a test run. Am I allowed to answer the question too? Oh, what's that? DK? Yeah, you're allowed to answer too. You love modded Minecraft? Okay. I used to play Minecraft all the time, but I'm like a boomer now that it comes to Minecraft. Like, I know how to craft a shield, but I don't know how to craft most things. You too, someone, you were allowed to answer as well. Anybody can answer if anyone else is there. What's DK64 racing, I guess? I'm currently playing with Minecraft while watching. A lot of people are playing games while watching today. Hmm. We've done a test run and some updates, so all the wards have to use this app now. The data protecting benefits are indisputable. A randomizer. Oh, randomize DK64 randomizer. Oh, okay, I get it now. I thought you meant DK racing or whatever it's called. Diddy Kong racing. The data protecting benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving us any time yet. Anyway, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. Downloading today's schedule. 
Schedule updated. There's randomizer races too. That, oh, I know that. They're like speedrunner races, right? Like, I don't know what it's called. Oh, oh, champion. Uh, I mean, champ. What, um, what Minecraft mod? Is it a mod pack or just like specific mods? You don't have to like list all the mods, but if it's a mod pack, you can tell me it. All right. The file tells you who to treat and what they need. Child's play, really. Any questions? I don't think so. Then you have everything you need. Report back to me when you've completed today's test and make sure you don't collect any more band-aids on your face by the end of your shift. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Do try to make an effort. All the mods. Oh wait, so is there like a bunch of mods? Because I know there's like eight of them apparently based off what you just said. That's pretty, or how many mods would that be? Also, is it Minecraft? Is it Minecraft Java or Technic, pa or Technic Launcher? Which you can just download the mod packs there and you'll play it with the mod pack. You, you've heard of Technic Launcher before, right? Okay. Have you ever heard of Technic Launcher? I used to use that for some mod packs. Well, I know Chris Forge. You have? Yeah, I usually use Technic Pack when I do that stuff. But because I was Java for such a long time, I actually, um... <laughs> what was it I did? I, um... I've had it for so long, like before 20, 2008, so I was able to get Windows Edition for free uh, one summer. Hello, there you are again. Nice to see you again, Miss Martin. I'd, ra I'd rather we make it somewhere else next time. Yes, I'd prefer that too. How are you? Oh, you know, I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes it feels like I can't breathe properly. I have bad stomach pains. Do you have heartburn? I always have heartburn. Had it for years. Yes, the stomach ulcer is no joke. I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months. I've had a lot of arguments with my daughter, and my job's gotten got me pulling my hair out. I'm very sorry to hear that, Miss Martin. Do you think the ulcer is stress related? Hmm. No, I don't think so. In fact, you're very unlikely to develop an ulcer just from stress. It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though, and it can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came to see us early. That's good. Also, if I go too far with a joke, feel free to tell me that I'm going too far with a joke because I have been known to push people away from my stream before. I have been known to be a bannable person in other people's streams because I just can't socialize properly and I blame my autism for that so if I ever uh, hit too close or insult you in some way because I mean I I've said fuck you to many people on my streams but as a joke I always say like not actually fuck you but you know what I mean you know last night's test show you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach it's probably what's causing the ulcer I'm going to start by prescribing you some medication whatever you think you will help will help all right let's see then Grab the right medication. Try the Okay. Which one would this be? Hold on, let me check. Too much. I don't know what I should be doing. Hold on. There we go. I think that's good. I go get the fuck out of my friend's home. Okay, okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Achievement complete. I got an A. Because I'm just that good. Well, that should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come and give you your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with the pain. Get well soon. See you later. Thank you and good night. Okay, next one is 303. Which is this way. God, that cat was kind of creepy. I don't know if it had a giant smile on his face or not. I could be going crazy, though. Keeps eyes open, exactly. Yeah, I understand. Like, <laughs> good night. 
She sleeps with her eyes open, by the way, so don't get too scared if she's, like, just, like, you know. I've seen somebody who was sleeping in the hospital once. I don't know their name. I don't know who they were. They were, like, they were, like, an old lady, right? So their mouth was gaping as if they were dead. And I don't remember if she was snoring or not, but she looked dead. What's your name? Hey, Larissa, I'm Finley. I can sleep sitting up, so I don't have room to talk. See, but that's cool. It's like a horse, you know? You can sleep sit. Oh my god. That's amazing. Honestly, I would love to be able to take naps standing up. That would be a pretty cool talent, I guess. I mean, I know people that. Uh, I don't know people, but I know people can um, sleep with their eyes open, but. I've only heard of horses sleep standing up. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. You, like, fall asleep, and hours later, you're just, you've just been standing there sleeping. I would love to have witnessed that at some point in my life, just seeing someone sleeping while standing. I bet my dad could do that. I don't know, though. I'll be examining you for over the next few days. My dad has slept in the most uncomfortable positions or things you'd think would be uncomfortable positions before. Nothing to worry about? Okay, whatever you say, doctor. I'd like to listen to your lungs. You mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so, but don't worry. It's not that cold. I don't know. Actually, I guess it is a bit cold most of the time. What you do, right? Doctors do this. They rub their hand on it to make it warm. At least that's what Dr. Mike does on uh, YouTube. Like, you've heard of Dr. Mike on YouTube, right? He's he's a real doctor. But usually what he does so people don't get shocked by the cold, uh, the sudden cold on their chest, just rubs their hand on it to make it a little warm. But it'll only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? Hmm, yes, okay. Shall we get started? Yep, let's do it. I'm gonna button your... Behold L when a button appears. Okay, press the button on the screen at the right moment. Okay. Oh no, this is gonna be hard for me. At least X and A are in the same spot, basically. Did I do it? I think I did it. Oh, I did it. Yes, perfect. That real that really was only cold for a second. <laughs> what did you hear, Doc? Nothing too bad, Larissa, but there was a faint rattle. A rattle? Like the musical instrument? Yes, kind of. I used to play one of those in my school orchestra, but I didn't swallow it, I promise. Actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? No, don't worry. There's nothing to worry about. I know the attack was probably scary, but you're feeling a lot better now, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> we'll keep you here for a little while. Once we're absolutely sure what's up with you, then you can go home. Agreed? Yes, of course. Do I have to do anything about it? Try to make yourself as comfortable as possible here. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Sure thing. I hope my camera's still like, okay. Oh, wow. That's uh, This was a lot of, more of one arm than the other. Hold on. Uh. Okay, here we go. That's still not a good angle, whatever. Okay, I do need to do that. Wait, hold on. Last one, 304. Who is this one? Who is this one? I don't remember who 304 was. Let's see, 304, right here. Good morning, Miss Helmig. You've just had thyroid surgery, right? How are you today? I'm very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. This is very understandable. Please take it easy then. Cameron never perfect during streams. So. No, not usually because I ha sometimes I lean back and play the game or like it's it's just a little bit like right here. Like I ha I have this command that I like it. Uh, Oh yeah, I have commands by the way. If you didn't see that, uh, check out, you know what, I'll just put this here. Here's the list of all my commands. I know it's a bit.ly link, 
but it's like one of those things where it's a shortened link for a uh, paste bin because those links are very long for whatever reason and you can find my all my commands across different things there I actually I personally use um streamer.bot for most of my commands drinking can be a little tricky when you've just had surgery but once the wound has healed a bit and the swelling has gone down it'll be fine you'll be on your feet again in no time that would be nice I'd hate to have to spend the last good days of the year stuck in here. We'll make sure it doesn't come to that. I'll change your dressing and make a, take a quick look at your sutures. A. Great. A. X. Y. B. X. Fuck. How am I supposed to do this? <coughs> That's hard to do. <coughs> that was hard to do because I had to maneuver my fingers. Looking good so far. Everything seems to be alright. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. Okay. Perfect. My work here is done. Get better, that's how. Wow. Meanie. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, what the fuck? Why is it not letting me... There we go. I was wondering why it wasn't letting me do this. I got done first. I got done first. I got done first. I got done first. All done, Dr. Krakowski. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. Alright, let's see. That'll do, Pigeon. Get an A. Get an S rank. I got an S rank! My first try of this game! Perfect. Okay. I have another task for you. I'm giving you the opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. The door's on the right. But you can also take the elevator if you like. I've sent some blood samples to Dr. Halil and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed then. Off you go, I need those, whatever. Lab basement, Dr. Healy, you got it. Are these upstairs or downstairs? The porcupine! The fall porcupine! The porcupine of fall! <laughs> the game is called Fall Porcupine. I wonder how long this game is, or, uh, let's see, I've been, I don't know how long I've been playing for, shit. Do I have an uptime? I wonder if I have an uptime command. I do, one hour and 18, wait, why don't I just look at the fucking, why didn't I just look at OBS for that? God damn it, I feel so stupid. Go down the stairs, keep going down. Oh, I was wondering why it wouldn't let me go down. Basement. Here we go. Now, where do I go? This is. Wait, this isn't the basement. It lied to me. Unless this is the basement. Wait, this is not the basement. Unless the, where the fuck is the basement? What the fuck? Is this the basement? Nope. I don't know where I'm supposed to go for the basement. Oh wait, hold on. Bullshit, there's no tasks available. I was just told to do something. Can somebody, does anybody remember what I was supposed to do? No, I didn't want to go in that room, I don't think. No, I'm good. I think that's... Oh, no, there's the basement door. I missed that. Da, 
hospital archives. No one knows what treasures is lay inside. Treasures is made out of old moldy paper if the smell is anything to go by. Then in 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. See, my eyes are shit. I can't wait to get my new glasses. They're going to be shipped to the house and stuff. And I'm just going to be so happy that I can see better. Locked. Hello? See that red light above the door? That what? Ah, uh, yes, I see it. Good, good, excellent. Well then, so I'm here too. You see the red light, don't you? Yes, I see the red light. Red light usually means something like very busy, prohibited, negative, no access, or something no. But I need the blood results urgently for Dr. Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski, is that? I see. That does alter the parameter somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? Uh, I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? What do you think? You see a green light, don't you? I did see a green light. Maybe that's... I'm... I'm... I'm fucking up your steez. Oh, it's a mole. Alright, here I am. Wow! What are you doing here? I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. Fascinating. And? And what? The light, was it green? Yes, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Krakowski asked you for. Ah, indeed, indeed. So why are you wasting our time chatting? Follow me, I think I have your results around here somewhere. Look at that little mole. Now, here we are. Ah, yes. The documents you requested should be just here. Do you keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course, saves time when matching them to the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know. They become so much more efficient if one reduces the distances between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing work, too. Now you two can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all... No! You dumbass! Oh no, oh horror! What a mishap! That bang made my heart jump. My whole system, I... Let me just put things right and it'll be all right again in no time. Oh, woe is me. Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, that happens, let's see. Just a minute. Why do the symbols have different colored lids? That my dear doctor, that's my sorting system, heh <laughs> It looks complicated. On the contrary, it's as easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around, so you're they're facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around until all the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single colored square. Once on the sample, all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples that fell out of slotted. It's quite simple. Okay, got it. You're very smart. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's see. LB, okay. Okay. Let me see. Um, how? Hmm. That's weird to me. Okay. I actually don't understand. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I do. I'll be in. Right? Oh, I see. There. Oh, I get it. I think. I oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it now. It took me a second. Hold on. Now that would be. This one right here. Right? No. No, oh, no, not that one. This one, perhaps? Wait, now I'm confused. Oh, wait, now I'm fucking confused. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, that's good. That won't be good at all. 
Hold on. Now I'm, now I'm like super confused. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Yes. Okay, perfect. What's this for? Oh, I see. There we go. Okay. That one would be this. Right there, like that. I think like that. Oh, I know. Like that. And then like that. Like that. Like that. Oh, wait, hold on. Like that. Like that. Like that. Okay, I get it now. Hold on. Okay, I get it. I, I think I get it now. Like that. But there's a problem. That's not right. Oh, perfect. Okay, and then the last one, of course, goes here. Perfect! Okay, that was hard, but very interesting way to do this. You see? Fantastic, isn't it? My system is infallible. Thank you for your effort. I had better get back to my work. Um, Dr. Halil? Was there something else, dear doctor? The results for Dr. Krakowski. Oh, right, right, Dr. Krakowski. Why didn't you say? You know, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. Here you are. With my flawless system, I always have everything to hand. Enjoy, and please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think, don't you know? Keep the door open! Fuck that guy! Aw, oh, man. Dr. Krakowski? Dr. Krakowski. I'm thinking I'm gonna take the elevator. Or not. There's no elevator over here. Actually, watch this. Go through here, right? Go through here and go to the elevator. Okay, here we go. Here are your blood results, Dr. Krakowski. And why did it take so long? Did the bus to the lab not turn up? No, I had to help Dr. Hilario sort his samples. You had to help him? Yes, I... Do you see Dr. Hilario here tending to the patients on the third floor? No, you don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula's is a finely tuned machine. If one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll feel a bit more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning right on time for the start of the shift. Got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. Krakowski. And I've been fired! No, imagine I was actually fired already. It's only been an hour. It's only been an hour, th well, almost an hour and a half. That's, that's crazy. I honestly thought it was longer. Not like in a bad way. I like this game so far. It's dark. Uh, wait, did that actually get me wet? Oh, it does. Well, it's really dark. Imagine it turns into a horror game. That would uh, piss me off a little. I'm not even trying. The bus won't come. Will I ever see it again? Nope, probably not. Man, having to walk all that way. Home in the dark. Hey, friend. Exam this evening, isn't it lovely? The warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it. The golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep. Ah, how wonderful. Wait, what's this? I feel the need to say something profound. Think I'll resist the urge, though.
Sorry, I'm just... I, I just have nothing really to say now because it's like, it's like there's nothing going on except for music that's really calming me down and stuff. Compared to all the talking and stuff. Wait, who the fuck are you? What do you want, Pipsqueak? Can't you... Oh, wait, never mind. One of that little busy buddy's pal. You mean Carl? Yeah. Ah, oh, he needs to keep away from me. Tell him that for me. Fuck. I'm not talking to any of the people. Because it's too much to read if I do that. I mean, I like to read and all. But sometimes if it's a game where you read a lot, it's not really fun. Well, I used to think reading was fun until I started playing games where it was mostly reading. Then I think... Yeah, I've played a lot of visual novels on YouTube recently. So, that's probably why it's kind of a lot to me. Now, where's the house that I live in? wondering where I was. Yep, I had a feeling. I can't, well, just oof, off the bed. I want to, I think I'll just get a little more air. Good night, world. Good night, world, and all of who inhabit it. Now for a dream sequence, possibly, maybe. What the fuck is he doing? Go good morning. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I can do anything. I'm on top of the world. That's what I would say right now if I were the kind of person who cheers himself on in the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy, and luckily, I don't have a mirror. That'd be uncomfortable or for everyone involved. But at least I got out of bed on time. This is a success myself, if you ask me, and I've got rid of that awful band-aid too. Almost well, seven years of studying medicine, and I can finally take Bennett off without it hurting. Maybe I do have what it takes. Oh, I I thought I had to go through that door for a second. I don't know why. Oh, look, it's fall now, or some. I think I don't know. Sir, there's no bus coming, just so you know. The bus never comes. Excuse me, hmm, yes? Do you know what's going on here? Why is the line so long? Haven't you heard? They're saying today's going to be the last warm day of the year. That means the ice cream shop's closing today. It won't open again until spring. They always have great deals on the last day of the year. We don't want to miss it. Who knows how long we'll have to wait before you can get a delicious ice cream again. I hope that doesn't make me late for work. God damn. Even though this isn't by the same people that made Wander Song, it reminds me of Wander Song, which makes me think it's a really good game, and it is so far. What the fuck kind of animal is that? Was that a crow? I don't know what animal that was. Okay, now to St. Ursula's uh, Hospital. I forgot what it was called. It was like St. something. Holy shit. Holy sheep shit, Batman.
Does anybody else have a warning in the top left hand corner or whatever saying that I'm uh I'm an adult streamer or something? Like giving you a mature uh warning? Because I don't know what they did to change that, but they changed it in such a way that I have no idea what to do. Because I know some of my friends have that rating. On the channel like all the time, but I don't know how it works. Yeah, intended for certain audiences, it should say. But I'm not ex exactly sure what that means. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's why. Because he has one where he, his stream, he does weed. He smokes weed. So, that makes sense. That makes sense why I would have drug use and intoxication and such. I'm here, don't talk to me. Morning, Finley. Hope you have a good shift today. Thanks, you too. My stomach's already growling. I was checking out the hospital a bit this morning and forgot to have breakfast. You're funny. See you later, Mia. Good morning. I see you did turn up before sunset. Have you got your file for today yet? No, I'm afraid not. Well, let's deal with that right away. Some of the beds have already been reassigned. Your tasks for today have been activated in your app. Today's schedule. Ding. Schedule updated. P31, so the other way. Or no, should I do 301 first? We've got our hands full, so let's not waste time. Among other things, we're looking after an old friend of mine today. She's in room. Please make sure she's looked after, but don't lose sight of your other responsibilities too, okay? As always, I want to see impeccable results get to it. Okay, 301 is right here. Do, do, do. Are you feeling better, or do I need to get you more pills? Miss Martin, how are you feeling? I was up all night worrying again. I was thinking about my daughter, our argument. I'm the same when I can't sleep. I'll spend the whole night turning problems over in my mind. Did it come up when you first come to the stream? Oh, it does, thank God. It's, does it, does it though? Does it still, because on Actipal's stream, if you click on the stream or whatever, it says intended for certain audiences. And then it says it may con contain drugs, intoxication, or excessive tobacco use, significant profanity or vulgarity. Oh, actually, I need to fix that because I wonder if there's a vulgarity one because there's this new setting or whatever. Hunting classifications. Got it. Now I think I should be good for that. Is your stomach getting better at least? My stomach? Now you now you mention it. Is there now there we go, that's what I was looking for. I find it dumb, it's not just his job to control what my son says, it's my job to it's called parenting. You know, the thing is, though, not a lot of parents watch after what their kids see. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, even with that warning, kids can just, like, watch it anyways, you know? They just fake their birthday like they usually do. Now you mention it. It is feeling better, yes. That's good to hear. Basically, you're good. You're probably a good parent, I know that. But, like, it's like some people that... Some parents just aren't that good of parents. I wonder, uh, wonder if I should keep that or what I should do with it. Your trouble sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll make some adjustments to your dosage. Okay. Now we're doing this again. Minus and that and that. What do I want? Plus red. Four pills? Okay, hold on.
Bullshit. Wait, is it perfect now? Well, I need to oh, everything is perfect. I got it all good. Good and dandy. Good and dandy. There we go. So you're about to get some new drugs to help you sleep. We'll get the summer girls are under control, but to keep it that way, you need to avoid stress. That's easier said than done, I know. Now I'm glad you said that. Maybe that's what I needed here. I've known it for a long time, but now I really do need to look after myself more. But how? This pill you're about to take will send you to sleep for a little while. I'm sure you'll come up with new ideas and a fresh perspective when you wake up. Thanks, Doc. Oh my god, there's an old turtle on P31. Okay, 303. I can't jump in here because I have to look professional, which is fantastic. How are you today? Pretty chill, Doc. Just bored to death. I could barely sleep last night. Yeah, I get that. True. I understand that, Z. I do understand that. But, uh, I mean, if it comes to a point where parents are, like, complaining about something, something's gonna have to be done so they don't keep complaining, you know? It's probably a lot of parents were watching Twitch streamers and were like, man, the vulgarity and shit, you know what I mean? Nights can be long when you're in a hospital. Ain't that the truth, you know what I mean? Like, bad parents don't take it upon themselves. But I, I understand where you're coming from. I wanted to make sure that because I'd rather not get in trouble with anyone. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to go back to Act Appalled. Because I, I was looking on his stream for a bit. I mean, think about this. YouTube Kids is, isn't any better, you know? Let me see, I don't do gambling. Violent and graphic depictions is not here. Sexual themes. Uh, could I have called this sexual themes? I'm not sure. I I doubt it. Honestly, I doubt it. Like I do, I do have sexual themes in a way, but like I don't know if that's like under vulgarity and stuff. Ain't that the truth? How's the cough? Much better. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean now. It's not up to websites to do the job of parents bad or not. Yeah. Bad parents will blame the company, though, which is what they do not want, usually. And I kind of like it, in a way, because it's like, now you can, like... It's basically telling you, you know what? Do this, whatever. We don't care, you know? That's what I want to hear. Let's give you a quick check over, then. Sure, you need me to do just what you're doing right now. That's plenty. All right, let's take a look at your lungs. Don't you mean listen? What? You're just going to listen to my lungs, right? Or are you going to cut me open? I don't want people looking at my lungs. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, I just, just turn a phrase. I'll only be listening to your lungs. Don't worry. Phew. Okay, now I'm going to have to be careful. There we go, perfect A. Hmm, what is it, Doc? Your lungs haven't quite fully recovered yet. Is that bad? No, nothing to worry about. I think if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we can send you home tomorrow. Okay, is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. I get that. But believe me, it's better if we keep you in just for one more day. Yeah, maybe you're right. I go yet? Doc, can I tell you something? Sure, what is it? My cough was pretty bad last night. It kept me up all night, and it hurt a lot, too. It's good that you told me that, Larissa. You know you can tell me anything, right? Believe me, I want to get you out of here as soon as possible, too. Okay, Doc, thanks. Any tips for how to kill time around here? 
We have a TV in the break room. If you feel like it, you can just sit down there and make yourself comfortable. We've got tea and coffee, too. Ugh, coffee. That stuff's so bitter. But I'll take a look later. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just one more day. We can do it. Yeah. <laughs> P31. Where I'm from, trying to blame the company, would just end up with a visit from... Exactly. Exactly. Like, something... Like... People complain to companies all the time, but, like, it's fucking, like, nothing good comes from it. And it usually ruins experiences for other people, but, I mean, caution, you know. Juliano, what are you doing here? Finley, my friend, I brought my brother here this morning. May I introduce you? My mother, oh. Sorry about that. My mom was coming in about, um, food. This is my mother, Irma. Good morning. Hello there. She collapsed on the sidewalk. Must have fainted or something. It's the first time this kind of thing's happened to her. So I figured we'd better get a specialist to check her out. Alright, I'll take a look. You hear that, Ma? Finley hasn't lived in Porcupine long, but I know him. He's a good kid and a great doctor. Well, aren't I the lucky one? Is there anything else I can do, Finley? Can you tell me anything about else about what happened this morning? Oh yeah, let's see. Me and Ma wanted to meet up for breakfast. She wanted to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk. She said it might be the last sunny day of the year. It's not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. Saw her, or whatever. We didn't even have time to say hello properly before her, I don't know. I tried to do a Boston accent. He seemed like the kind of guy, you know. She couldn't stop coughing, so we came straight here. Say, I was looking forward to that breakfast. I was really craving French toast with applesauce and a nice strong black coffee. Thanks, Giuliano. I think that'll do for now. I'll take a look at her, Ma. Okay. Ma, I'm going to head off now. I'll be at Gilbert's. Uh, Gilbert's. So let me know if you need anything, okay? Yeah, I'll be fine, son. You should be worrying about that old pub of yours. Of ours. I'll call you later. I like that. Good morning, Miss Dicalma. How are you feeling today? Please call me Irma. I'm not one to stand on ceremony. All right, Irma. I'm Finley. That's a nice name. So how are you feeling? My lungs hurt more than I've ever felt before. That happens sometimes. Can you tell me again what happened this morning? I was on my way to see my son Giuliano. It was such a lovely morning. It felt like the last day of summer. Even though I can already smell the fall, can you smell it too? Yes, me too. The trees are turning beautiful colors. After a few meters, my breathing got very heavy. Such a waste of my beautiful fall air. Of the oh, fuck. I couldn't really enjoy it. My breathing got faster and faster. I just reached the marketplace when I started feeling very dizzy. I felt sick. My legs gave way and I fell down onto the sidewalk. It made an awful racket. The windows shook in all the houses. I see. That reminds me of a great story. But maybe that can wait for another day. <laughs> I'm rather exhausted. Alright, Irma. I'll let you get some rest, but I'd like to make a few notes of this diagnosis. Of course! The sooner we find a solution, the sooner I can hold on uh, on uh, my French toes. Just sit tight. We'll have you out of here in no time. Use the symbol. Okay. Green mark indicates that you've got the right symbol in the correct position. Okay. Ooh, definitely not death. I 
only get the foot. Dang it, I don't know I don't know what to do here. What if I just Oh wait no that didn't work before so hard. Oh shit that one was right? Okay, cool. I already tried I so let's try this one here and then what else? what didn't I put here? I didn't put hand here. Yes, I did it! And I got an A! Perfect! I got an A. Hmm, I see. What do you see? The symptoms are relatively clear. I think it's early stage pneumonia. Things don't seem so bad for now, but we'll keep you here as a precaution. Yes, yes, better safe than sorry, right? That's right. You're a nice young man. I'm glad you're my doctor. Pet, pet. You know? Thank you. I'll do my best to get you well again as soon as possible. I'll see you later, okay? Just call out if you need anything. Will do. Thank you. I'm getting out of here. Finley? You got a minute? Sure. What can I do for you? I know she's in good hands with you, but that's all I can ask for. We'll get Irma back on her feet. I know, I know. I'll head out then. I gotta finally reopen Gilbert's today. Don't take this personally, but I hate hospitals. The smell makes me anxious. I understand that. Then I guess we'd better catch up at Gilbert's next time. Sure, come by anytime. I will. I didn't even take the elevator. What a nonce. Well, not nonce, but you know, what an idiot. What a goof. I'm done, Dr. Krakowski. I can see that. Alright, then let's see what you've got for me. All A's, motherfucker! I got an S rank again. Do you need anything else? No, thank you, but... The new patient. What about her? She's very friendly. Is that so? Old Mrs. Dacoma is very popular in Porcupine. I've known her for a long time, too. Take good care of her, Finley. You'll be in charge of her treatment. But don't neglect the others just because you think Miss DeCalm is nice. Personal considerations should never get in the way of your work. I know that. And if you absolutely hate a person, always treat them to the best of your ability and understanding. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check on Miss DeCalm as well. Okay, thank you for placing your trust in me. Hmm. Hey, Mia. Ugh. Are you okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double done. Tired? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. Tell me about it. Have you eaten today? I'm too hungry. I'm so hungry. No, now you mention it. Have you ever been to the cafeteria? Not to eat, but maybe today's a good day to change that. I say, I'd say it is. Let's do it. I had didn't realize how hungry I was until you mentioned it. Now I can't think of anything else. That's what we call a remote diagnosis. Shall we go? Yes, before there's nothing left. Correct answer. Hurry up. My stomach's practically wrung with hunger. Is that even medically possible? Even They must hate you at the library. Finley. Alright, alright. To the cafeteria. Yeah, cafeteria time. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Do they have chicken? What can I get you, kid? Hmm, what have you got? Art, the finest culinary art in town. Just choose your artwork and prepare to be taken on a wild journey. Now, I don't want to presume your personal taste, but I can highly recommend the pineapple wrap. Sweet yellow fruit combined with crunchy lamb's lettuce and pickled artichoke hearts. A gourmet delight. So go on. 
What will it be? What would you like, Mia? Hmm, I don't care. You pick something, I'll eat just about anything right now. Okay, I would like... The pasta cum laude, the sesame sorbet, the tomato tart, the ravioli with munchlanka sauce, the sea salt muesli. I'll have that. We're all out of that, sorry. My dishes are just too popular. Can I get you something else? Rod, really? I can't. Ah, uh, fine. Ah, the pineapple wrap. I see you're a doctor of good taste. Bon appetit to you both. Enjoy. I ha I had that feeling. I had that feeling that was going to be the one that I could get. How is it? Meh. The wrap? Um, interesting, I guess. What do you think of it? I'll be honest, I can't stand pineapples, but I didn't want to complain, and I was so hungry I didn't care. But I actually meant work how's it going for you should i end the stream let's see how long have i been streaming almost two hours i'll end around two hours we both started here just a few weeks ago and i just realized that we haven't even talked about our experiences yet sometimes that helps to reflect on yourself i mean that's what my parents always say true somehow we haven't had a chance yet well i think i like this i like the saint ursula's i don't know that many hospitals yet but i think we made a good choice yeah probably and the staff are really nice. That's true. But Dr. Krakowski can be pretty nasty. Yeah, that's uh, she's really been eating me alive too. But I'll win her over. Sure, sure. I just wish I was more punctual. Every day I come rushing in at the last minute and you're already here and ready to go. I need to work on that. Yeah. Is everything okay? You don't ha have to eat the wrap if you don't like it. Well, I... Bon appetit, my dear colleagues. You too. How do you like Sergei's cuisine? Pretty good so far. Yes, pretty good. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. When the staff are happy, I'm happy too. I'm sorry I missed the opportunity to introduce myself the other day. It didn't seem like the right time, so I was so, so was hoping I could make it up to you now. My name is Roman Heidrich. I'm the executive director of St. Nurses Hospital. I try to keep things running at, as smoothly as I can. And to fulfill the wishes of our dear chief physician, Mr. Theobald, and of, and of the staff, of course. Uh, my top priority is the welfare of our patients. That's how it's always been and how it always will be. I want to check if there's somebody I can raid out to other than Actopold because I do that quite a bit. But there's n never anybody on that I like watching. And, or a game that I can like watch and not be spoiled for anything. Or a game that I like, you know? Oh my god, it always turns out to be act appalled at the end of the day. Or beaten buzzers, I could do him. Or maybe laughing? No, he just started whatever. I want to say hi to Actopald again. You know what? We'll do that in a sec. The two of you are new here, so I wanted to impart that information to you personally. Especially since some of you had a difficult start here. I don't blame you for an incident with Mr. Arndez. You're new and mistakes happen. I see no ill intent in your actions. You only wanted what was best for the patient. So much so that you put your own health at risk. Nevertheless, we've had to make certain accommodations for him. He's now at the best care center in the country where he will hopefully recover quickly. I'm glad to hear it. I hope he gets better soon. Anyway, enough of such matters. Let us look to the future and continue to make St. Ursula's Hospital a place of healing. I'm glad to have you both on board. That's what I really wanted to tell you. Alright, time for me to go. Don't you want to eat anything? No, thank you. I, sa I sated my appetite some time ago. Besides work, never sleeps. Enjoy your meals and your work. How do I know when it saves so I can exit the game? That was interesting. You can say that again. Interesting. Are you, are you done? I definitely am now. Let's go. Let's get back up to the ward then. Mr. Hydrick's right. Work never sleeps in this hospital. Okay, let's go. Can't even finish their food. What a bunch of pigs oh, I went the wrong way oh 
Oh, I thought. Okay, never mind. Does that mean it's saved? Okay, let's raid out to somebody. If people can join me for the raid, that would be great. If you cannot, however, that is okay too. Exclamation point raid. See that raid message that just popped up? Where it says fire raid? Copy out that whole message. Hold on, let me copy out that message too real quick. Uh, if you could stay in to check out this um, beautifully wonderful person. Actipald slash raid Actipald. If everybody can join, that would be great. If you can't, like I said, that's okay too. But I hope you enjoyed the stream today, and I hope to see you next stream. And yeah, I assume that too, champ. And I hope you all have a great day. And if you are having a great day, I hope you continue to have a great day. Hope to talk to you all soon. Uh, let's raid now.